a picture of my solar tracker. Don't quite have it completely done. Had a few setbacks. One of the motors went bad on it. But uh, I started building this thing a while back. But it's made a big, big difference on how much energy I collect from it. But the uh, motor on that actuator went bad up there. But uh, seems to work pretty good. Puts out a lot more power than it did when they were just sitting stationary. But uh, thought I'd share this with you. I built this out of a bunch of junk I had laying around because my wife was complaining about them being in the yard me dragging them everywhere so thought I'd just show you guys that anybody can build this stuff if they just take the time and uh, try to do something on their own instead of you know just sitting on the couch playing video games it's a little over a thousand watts on there and uh, I think the bottom panels are 225 watts and the top panels are uh, 205 a piece. So they do pretty good. But all together, I think it's uh, right around 1,000 and some watts. I have to figure it up real quick. But I made the controller. I just, a bunch of junk I bought from eBay. And this is the control box. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but there's the air, and then I can manually run it. That's just an old computer power supply I used to power it with. And then bought them relays there. They, uh, they came out of China, but they, they worked. I mean, Around here they wanted like $50 for them and I got them out of China for like a dollar. The shipping was like 10 bucks, but still, I mean, what do you do? And uh, this thing here was a control board I got. I had to cut it off here because this was all supposed to win up. I don't know if you can see it. There's a jar up there with the uh, sensors in it. They were all hooked together. So I actually cut that half in two and took some Cat5 and soldered them back up. And I figured, well, if it didn't work, I wasn't out of a whole lot, but it, I got it to work. And then uh, brought my power supply in here where I could kind of send the power to different spots. But uh, it all seems to work pretty good. And then, uh, I run my solar through these cables a little bit of an overkill but I got that wire for free uh, a friend of mine he works for the power company and they pulled a bunch of wire and was throwing it away and so he got me 150 feet of it to run down here and I wanted something heavy so I wouldn't lose any voltage and uh, they seem to work pretty good because uh, you can see how big that wire is I mean it's a uh, pretty heavy wire. It's for a 400 amp service, I believe, or never a 200 amp service, I'm sorry. And then uh, I got everything here. I kind of made a little combiner box. Yeah. And, uh, but overall, not too bad of a project. It was just time consuming because in between work, and working on this, I didn't have a whole lot of time to work on it. And about the only thing I actually bought was that Ken door to hold the panels on. The rest of it's just junk I found laying around here at the farm in the house. Because I'm always working on something. I like to make stuff. But overall, you know, turned out pretty good. No wind today. Never have any wind. This is a bad month. Yep. Thanks for watching.